Hey, Zulza59 here. Tim, I'm going to show you guys how to make this 2x4 bench, or you could use it as a coffee table. And don't forget, you can download a free set of plans to build one for yourself. To make your 2x4 bench or coffee table, uh, what you're going to need is seven 2x4s at eight feet long, which I've got here. And you want to go ahead and cut one edge off just to get the round over edges off and which I've done here so so you get a nice square edge then you want to go ahead and measure three inches in your final width and then cut your other side which you get something that looks like this all nice and square at three inches and you want to go ahead and do that to the rest of your pieces then you want to take your two by fours to the miter saw and you want to go ahead and cut them to the right length on each and every piece and I just set up here just a simple stop lock system so once you cut it, as you can see, you have your scrap piece here, and then this is your right measurement that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of all my pieces. Go ahead and drill all your pocket hole uh, joinery, which I'm doing with the Craig jig, um, but it's the HD one, so the holes are quite bigger. Uh, just because we are using 2x4s, I want to make sure this bench is nice and strong. And I'm just going to go ahead and drill my last two holes here. Attach the leg in the top, uh, what you're going to need is I'm using uh, Craig uh, two and a half inch uh, pocket screws uh, for the HD. Uh, there's only one size of these anyways, I'm pretty sure of. And um, I'm using Gorilla wood glue and I already put some in and I lined everything up, made sure everything was nice and square. And I drove one screw in and I just got my last screw here to drive in. And if you happen to get any squeeze out of glue, I just got a paper towel here that's got a little bit of water on it. And that is the one side complete. And I'm going to go ahead and do it to rest of all the other sets. So this is what everything looks like. You should have five sets of this kind and this one you'll have four sets. Go ahead and sand and I just used my orbital sander at 80 grit uh, sandpaper and just enough to make these nice and flush so when we stack them all together that everything will fit nice and smooth. For putting everything together now what you want to go ahead and do is pre-drill uh, for your screws which I went ahead and already did for this piece here. Um, so I started measuring from this corner here and going downward, which I measured in 5 inches, 14, 22, and 31 along there. And then along on these sides going up for the side pieces, um, I did uh, 2 inches in from the bottom and then 9 inches. And you just got to remember is that for your next one, um, you want to rotate it. So maybe do like... Uh, three inches in and then 10 inches in. So now for adding the glue, what I did was I just used a small little roller that you can buy at the store that you use for testers on the wall. And I'm using tie bond, just regular wood glue, and I just apply the glue on and then I just roll it um, on just so it's got a nice thick layer onto it. And you wanna go ahead and add your piece. Now this can be a little bit tricky because it is two by four, so sometimes it doesn't quite line up all the way. Um, but that's okay because we'll end up sanding everything down all nice and smooth and square. Um, so this part, what I like to do is actually just kind of put it on and let it sit, kind of line everything up just a little bit, make sure some areas are flush. And then I just like to let it sit for a bit because I find when you add the clamps on, it kind of shifts and move everything. So this way with just letting it sit for a little bit, the glue can just settle in everything into place. Put clamps on each side and I'm just using number eight by two inch uh, wood screws. And I'm just going to go ahead and drive in my last screw here. And I'm going to go ahead and take off the clamps and then repeat the same progress until I'm all the way done. For the last piece of your glue up, what do you want to do is you want to make sure that you flip your piece over so that 
you don't see any of the crank holes or anything like that so it just looks all nice and clean and I'm going to go ahead and glue it up and then put just all clamps around it no screws or anything like that. This is what it looks like all clamped up and I'm going to go ahead and let this dry overnight. And sand your entire project with 80 grit of sandpaper which I already did. So I just do some walnut and red oak with wood filler and filled in all, all the cracks and each and every joint, um, all the sides, the tops and bottom. Then I went ahead and sanded again with 80 grit of sandpaper and the edges I just went over again with 180 grit sandpaper just to knock it down but just to keep the squareness of the shape because I don't want to lose that effect. And I'm going to leave mine sanded at 80 grit sandpaper. If you wanted to make it more smoother, I would recommend doing 150 or 220 grit sandpaper. I just want to leave mine just a little bit distressed. So um, it's got a little bit of scratches and it'll have a little bit of swirl marks from the sander and everything like that. But I just want to give it just a little bit distressed look, not too much. And here's a close look up of the side. and the top. The stain that I used was Old Masters Wiping Stain in a dark walnut finish and I just used uh, Scott Shop paper towels to apply the finish on and I find they're really great uh, because they are lint free and I find they last a long time and also you can get them at your local hardware store and I let it dry the wiping stain for eight hours overnight uh, before I applied my top coat and I just used a lint free uh, rag and I found that worked really well and I used Minwax Wiping Poly uh, in a gloss finish and I did three coats of that. This is the final look of the project. I also added in some feet on the bottom that you can level off just to make sure everything is all even. Thanks for stopping by my channel and go to the video description link below for free plants. Don't forget to comment on this video. If you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.